So you're getting chicks. What do you need? Um, before you bring your chicks home, there are several things that you're going to need. You're going to need a container to put them in. At the store, you'll see them usually in these big galvanized tubs. That is totally not necessary. You can get um, a like a plastic tub, um, a box, just anything really that water is not going to soak into um, to put your chicks in. The more chicks you have, the bigger container you're going to need. That's why we ended up getting this big galvanized tub, and we'll have it uses for it in the future. But when I've had these before, we had them in a wooden box um, that we were able to change the shavings and stuff out in. So you will also need some kind of bedding for them. You will, if you use shavings, you need to get pine shavings. Cedar shavings are toxic to chicks, so make sure you do not get cedar shavings. Some people use paper towels in the beginning just because baby chicks don't know not to eat the, eat the shavings. So if you get the shavings, make sure you get the larger ones. Um, when we did chicks before, and with these, we've done these large shavings, and so far we haven't had a problem with them eating them. Um, but that is something to consider. Something you will also need is this right here. This is a heat lamp. You can get brooders, um, basically a... A warmer that you put down in the actual container that you have your chicks in um, but more cost effective especially for starting out is just getting a heat lamp um, and you can usually find these right with the chick stuff at your stores but heat lamps are sold all year round so that's something that is easy to find so my son is changing out the chicks container right now he has them all set in a little box over to the side <clears throat> He has cleaned the container and he is just putting the, the shaving back out in a nice even layer that covers the bottom pretty well. So he has our waterer. Um, let me see if I can get over there to that. I mean, the this is a chicken water. This is actually a big one. If you have a lot of chickens, you'll need a little bit bigger. Um, if you have just a few chickens, get the smaller one. Okay, and now he is putting in the chicken feeder. We, we have, um, I think it'll be okay. okay. We have 14 chicks, so we got the longer chicken feeder. Um, they do have shorter ones, so one the size is not necessary. So he's gonna put our little babies back in here, so you'll get a, a little look. We ended up getting multiple breeds of chicks this year, and um, the last time we did this, well, actually, um, we've had. I guess this is technically our third run of chicks, <clears throat> yeah, but the first run, my husband chose them. The second run, I haphazardly chose them, didn't know what I was doing, and this time we went in a little bit more educated. So we ended up getting um, Easter Eggers, Olive Eggers, um, some ISA Browns, and then Golden Laced and Silver Laced Wine Dots, and then we got one Silky just for... For looks they're not really a great egg layer but we got it just because we think they're cute so but the rest of them are pretty good egg producers so um that's why we chose these breeds now these chickens have been her little chicks have been out of their heat and you see where they ran they ran down here under their heat lamp as soon as they were put back in um it's easy to know whether your chicks are too hot or too cold by judging where they are in their container if they are cold, they're going to come get under this heat lamp and they're going to huddle up together. If they're warm, they're going to go down to the other end where the food is. We did start out with um, having, we did start out by putting two heat lamps on this container, um, but we found that they were hanging out in the middle too much, so that meant they were too warm. So we did turn that other one off and so far they've done really well. Now you will notice um, these chicks are now facing down they're getting sleepy it, once they're stressed out in a high stress situation when you put them back in when they're comfortable they fall asleep you can already tell today that they're stronger than they were yesterday because when we put them in here they basically laid down on their faces like whole bodies flat but today they're standing up and just kind of leaning over so we're going to leave them alone and let them uh, kind of regulate themselves and de-stress so Let's review this real quick. You'll need a container that they cannot get out of. 
uh, to put them in that is water resistant. You're going to need some kind of bedding to start out with. In the beginning, if you want to do paper towels, that's perfectly fine. But if you do shavings, make sure they are pine shavings. You're going to need a heat source, either a an electric brooder or you can get um, a heat lamp, which is usually easily found. You're going to need a chicken waterer and you're going to need a chicken feeder. Um, and that will get you started. You also need to get <clears throat> chicken starter uh, food. And it's I think it's called, well, what we got is called Chicken Starter Grower. Um, let me see. I'll see if I can find a picture of it and insert it right here. Here's up close of our chicks resting and de-stressing after they've been out of their little container just for a few minutes for cleaning. You will need to make sure you keep their area clean. If you see that they've got poop everywhere, you do need to clean it. Um, it's been a, a little less than 24 hours since we've had these, um, but we've got a bunch in here. So the more you have, the more often you're going to need to clean. Just if you keep their area cleaner, the healthier the birds are going to be. So until next time, you are worthy. You can do this. God bless you.